Hello, this is uh, CSO advisor, uh, Mr. David Padilla from Dwight Middle School STEM Academy. And I'd like to acknowledge all of my CSO officers uh, who did a great job. And unfortunately, due to the pandemic, uh, we've kind of like fallen to the wayside, unfortunately. Um, Communication has been tough. Uh, most of my students have been concentrating on focusing on their core subject areas and making adjustments. Um, and as an advisor, I'm an elective, so uh, my classes have kind of taken off to, or been put to the side uh, temporarily. There are assignments that they have to do, but uh, in contacting students, um, we have to do a lot of follow-up. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And um, at this point, what I'd like to do is to acknowledge uh, Chief Science Officer Catherine Ostegin, who has really um, evolved. As an incoming sixth grader, she was uh, shy in the beginning, which is one of the reasons I nominated her, and she has really flourished. flourished um, and being one of the leads uh, for the group, especially for the sixth graders, she has taken on a lot of responsibility and is willing to help other students. And talking to uh, her other core teachers, I did get some feedback that said that <clears throat> she is a hard worker, will take constructive feedback, and she also helps peers in the classroom, um, willing to help others. So I can foresee that in the future, uh, Ms. Ostegin will be a great asset to the Chief Science Officers Program. Um, I know that due to everything that's been going on, uh, which was unexpected, we've all had to make some adjustments. So how we move forward is going to depend on how we react to it. But I think our chief science officers will be in a position uh, to be the leaders on our campus and to move us forward. So in closing, I'd like to give thanks to the chief science officer program and we'll see about next year, how we can improve and develop. Thank you guys.